Okay, I haven't been able to find a lot of information about Gauntlet Legends uh, as far as video re uh, video cards and replacements for the video card that comes in Gauntlet Legends and some of the other uh, Vegas motherboard uh, games that are out. So uh, this is the card out of the Gauntlet Legends. It's uh, an Obsidian 2 by Quantum 3D and it's basically a Voodoo 2 card. It's got 10 megabytes of memory on it and uh, you can count the chips up and see that some chips are missing from the back seems to me that every two chips equals up to a megabyte and there's uh, 20 chips on here there's 10 megabytes uh, so you count 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 but uh, you can't really find replacements for these cards if your cards go bad too easy uh, you can get them on eBay but they charge like fifty something sixty dollars and then shipping and uh, a lot of people have been wondering if you could use another type of video card well I don't think you can use another type of video card unless it is a Voodoo 2 and uh, most people will probably try to replace it with the exact same type of Voodoo 2 but I was doing some experimenting and um, some people had said maybe you could replace it with a Voodoo 3 2000 and um, I have one of those over here. Uh, there's a Voodoo 3 2000. I've actually got the whole box and everything. I've got two of those and I've got some other Voodoo 3 3000s that are AGP but you have to use a PCI video card because that's the only type of slot on the Vegas uh, setup. And uh, I figured I'd try this and uh, show you what the results are and uh, you know maybe show you what, what the game should look like with the original card first and then show you what happens with this. And then I actually have a Voodoo 2 card that's made by Creative Labs. And uh, it looks very similar. If you take a look at this, and then here's the original card that came out of the uh, Gauntlet Legends cab. Looks very similar, pretty much. There's a few differences. It's got it's got a uh, another connector on there that's for uh, running like a, a card that can do 2D because this card, uh, Voodoo 2, is only 3D. So if you're not running 3D, you don't get any display. Um, and here's the one from the Gauntlet Legends. You see it only has one output to run through the circuit board and an output to the arcade monitor. Um, it's always running in 3D, so you're always going to get output. With this card in a PC, you could run a, a 2D video card and uh, run it through this, and you would get your 2D, and then whenever uh, uh, software or some type of game would initialize the chipset for 3D um, it would pipe through to the monitor and, and give you your 3D but uh, I'm going to show you what the differences are with each one of these installed in the cab and right now there's nothing in the cab the cab's off right now and excuse the mess I've been messing around with lots of tools and stuff but uh, Here's the Vegas setup, and uh, you've got a board that's got like your CPU on it, and then the uh, input-output board. Uh, it's got like sound chip and stuff like that. Does your sound, and and the CPU board. It has a connection for your hard drive. It's inside there and all. And your video card goes right back there where that fan is. There's kind of an empty space you can see, and uh, they're kind of tough to get in and out. But there's only two or three screws, and actually a little plastic screw holding it in place. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, original card in place. And maybe you can see as I do it if I can set this right. And you want to be careful doing this because you can damage the heat sinks or knock them off. And it's probably not good to scrape the bottom of your card around or your chips or anything. You don't want to mess up your board. or get caught on the fan like I am. Okay, maybe it was the video cable. Okay, got it lined up, snap it in the PCI slot. Okay, it's seated in. And now you have to connect your 15 pin cable basically a standard VGA monitor cable. It's just a small extension cable inside of here. Uh oh. 
Make sure it's connected good. You don't want anything grounding out. You've got two screw posts right here that are made out of metal. You've got a plastic one back here. But uh, I know pretty much that there's nothing near ground in this card out, so we'll just go ahead and try it like it is. Plug it up. Flip it on. Should get a tone. Okay, got a tone. If you look closely, you can see it's booting up. It's kind of off the screen, but it says 3D effects initialized, uh, initializing disk done, initializing audio done, loading game. And you get your game. And uh, this is just a startup screen. It you know, tells you some of the lead programmers and stuff, people who made the game. If you touch any of the joysticks, it'll go to an intro screen. I'm just going to let this play through for a minute so you can just see what the graphics are supposed to look like when you're running around in the game. Or actually, I guess I, I, guess I could try to start it up. Enter a dish to build a character. Select a character. Welcome, Yellow Return. Select a journey. The Mountain Kingdom. You are now entering the Valley of Fire. I'm just going to let you see kind of what it's supposed to be like when you're walking around. I'm not really going to play. Find the exit. Okay, you see, everything, the graphics look good. Here's a key. It looks normal. Treasure chest. chest looks normal. The characters look normal. What he's holding looks fine. All the graphics look okay. Nothing's like. Well, I got a little bit of a issue with my monitor there. Every once in a while, it gets a little bit light, but that's got nothing to do with the video card. I did a recap kit, and I believe I need a new flyback. Well, anyway, you see there's no graphical glitches at all. So we're going to cut it back off. Let the hard drive spin down. I like to pull the plug just in case. I like to let everything spin down, and just in case there's a little bit of voltage or something running around in there, and you go to try to yank a card out real quick. I, I know from computer experience, if you pull a card in and out of a expansion slot, especially AGP too fast or PCI and then plug it back in, I have seen cards damaged doing that. So I let, you know, kind of the power dissipate from in the circuit boards and everything. And then go ahead and disconnect. Take loose the 15 pin cable first. Let me set this back down. Disconnect the card from the PCI slot carefully, if you can. If I didn't have the fan away, it'd probably be better, but... Try to ease it out without hurting the heat sink. Okay, and it's out. Excuse me if my video making isn't incredible. I don't do this much. But anyway, there's the card we just took out. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and try the uh, Voodoo 3 2000. It's a PCI-based card. Uh, I think this has 16 megs of RAM. The original card has 10 megs of RAM. So that we know that this has at least the uh, you know, same amount or more of RAM. But the chipset's totally different, and this is just just to show you what happens with the card. And uh, I already know what happens because I've already done it, but I'm just going to show you to prove to you because a lot of people think that you can use this card. But we're going to give it a try. Get our power cord disconnected. Set the camera back down. Slide the card in, plug it into the PCI slot, and to be careful with this one, since it doesn't have uh, holes like the other two cards that are actually lining up with the standoff.